All right, guys, so we're going to uh, work on a free movement phase uh, with elbows. And so you guys get a basic understanding of some elbow flows, which is going to begin with a few basic elbow combinations. So I have three basic elbow combinations for you. Uh, first one is going to begin with a spear elbow, then horizontal elbow, horizontal elbow. What's important about this is get the coordination even before your partner comes in, get the coordination between your arms, so you're covered at all times. People kind of get wrapped up which arm goes where. So I just want to break it down real quick so you guys uh, see the big picture. Right, so as I'm coming in, let's say I'm doing uh, no contact. Elbow coming in here, my right hand is up, and my left hand comes back to my temple as I snap my right elbow in. Now my right arm comes up and it takes the uh, spot on my temple as I step in and rotate this elbow over. So this way I'm always covered up and I'm delivering power from either side. So one more time, the hand coordination, okay, it's going to be the elbow, whether I'm touching or not, let's say I'm touching this time. This elbow just, just kind of just turns, this elbow, this hand comes up, takes the place in my temple, and I rotate this elbow over, and then I come back. So in relation to my training partner, first plan, don't, don't block please, so I'm obviously going to go light. Okay, so first elbow, I'm looking to establish uh, like kind of like a shock entry from the very beginning and enter through between his guard. This combination, generally speaking, you set it up obviously with your punches and other tools as you close the range. But for right now, for you guys to understand, just to establish basic elbow flows, we're just going to isolate the elbow specifically. So for that purpose, what I'm going to ask Brandon to do is he's going to be in a, what we call the tight guard. That would be like a long guard, right? That would be like a tight guard. If you would have a long guard, just so you guys understand why we're doing this, I would have to go through his guard first. Obviously, I can't just kind of come in and elbow him. You see what I'm saying? So we'll cover this with the, how to overcome his guard. But first, so you guys understand how to throw actual elbows and bunches and be good with those, we'll cover from a tight guard, which is fairly often you'll see that, let's say, boxers have a tight guard or, or something like that. So you need to know how to work with it as well. So uh, enough of me talking, let's get to business. So we're here, okay, I'm coming in with a straight elbow through his guard, elbowing with the right, elbowing with the left. One more time, slow, coming through his guard, elbow with the right, notice I'm covered, elbow with my left all right this time it's gonna start covering up okay so elbow 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 notice that i have a good base as an elbow here. so a mistake would be for me breaking my structure kind of like breaking my structure and not really not really be in a good position so my, my core is all floating okay i want to have my pelvis tucked under my glutes and my abs engaged my leg is driving through him and i have good contact with the ground so elbow 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 Okay, so I'm moving him because I have a good base and good hips. One more time. Elbow, elbow, elbow. Let's rotate sides. So your first combination, left spear elbow, right horizontal elbow, left horizontal elbow. The second combination, I'm going to start with my right horizontal elbow. So right horizontal elbow, left horizontal elbow, right spear elbow, right through. Again, the arm coordination. Elbow, this hand comes up, takes a place by my temple. Elbow, this hand comes up, elbow. So this way I always have this kind of like this moving guard covering up my, my head. So with my training partner, elbow, notice this hand, elbow, elbow. The value of having your hands in those positions is not just the purpose of me covering against his counter attack. It's also thinking like a feeder, it's thinking that my hand is in a position to attack him right away. Because anytime, if you just lower your hand down for a second, anytime I elbow somebody, my arm ends up, kind of like my hand ends up in this position. There's multiple things that can happen. Of course, I can come back to the guard. But anytime I elbow him with this diagonal, or I don't know, diagonal elbow this way, horizontal, or something like this, my hand can also come back and break his structure and put him in a position for the other elbow or for the knee. You'll see that in a lot of our tactics following up. So your elbow, your hand is already, this hand is set up to protect you. This hand is set up to also maneuver and manipulate his head, okay? If he has his guard, okay, as an elbow, maybe he even blocked, my hand can rotate back, but also he can strip this hand off and then deliver this elbow. Now my hand is set up to strip that hand off and deliver this elbow. Another thing that your elbow, that your hand can do is as I'm, as I'm elbowing, 
I can also rotate and get into my tight clinch. So the hand can go that way and manipulate his guard or his hand, or my hand can rotate that way and get into my tight clinch so I can pursue my attack from there. You'll see it in a lot of other tactics we guys are gonna show to you, but just keep it in mind. So all those hand positions are important for a lot of different reasons, not just me covering myself up, but also thinking offensively. What am I gonna do to him next and next and next and so on and so forth. So again, first combination, Left spear elbow, right horizontal, left horizontal. Just a little faster. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Second combination is a right horizontal elbow, left horizontal elbow, right spear elbow. So, so far with the second combination, what I'm doing is strategically, I'm making him, if I, even if I don't, let's say, score like in damage, right? I make him frame. He has to deal with it by framing, and then I spear him right in the middle. The last combination, I'm gonna start with a spear in the middle with the right hand. Just starting with the shock right away. Just kind of shocking him on the center line and then finishing off with two horizontal elbows. So one more time. Spear elbow, horizontal, horizontal. So the first one, left straight, horizontal, horizontal. Second one, horizontal, horizontal, straight. Last one, straight, horizontal, horizontal. Let's change sides. Again, for demonstration purposes, you guys learn the elbow flow. Brendan is not necessarily in a typical tight position. He's more in a, in a tight guard just for us to be able to flow with the elbows and show you guys how they work. All right? So we're here. Straight, horizontal, horizontal. One more time. Straight, horizontal, horizontal. The second one is I start with a horizontal, go with another horizontal, and then go straight through the middle. Okay, the direction is straight forward. That way. Okay, the direction of my humorous ball is the direction of the elbow strike. Right? The last combination is I spear him right through the middle and then go with two horizontals to finish off the job. Hopefully, the first elbow kind of knocks him back a little bit. Let's say that happens. Boom. And now I come over his guard, over his guard, finishing the job. One last time, I'll run for three of those. Boom, bam, boom. Boom, bam, boom. And this is your three basic elbow combinations to get things started.